Grade 5, Module 6, Lesson 10, Homework. Number 1, use the coordinate plane to complete the following tasks. Line P represents the rule X and Y are equal. Construct a line D that is parallel to line P and contains point D. So we're going to make a line that is parallel to line E. So that's parallel to line E, and let's name three coordinate pairs on D. So I'm going to choose this one, so that is, notice how these go up by halves. So that's one half, two and a half, and I'll choose, we can use D. So D is at 2, 4, and let's put this one. So that is 4, 6. So I identified a rule to describe line D. So what I'm noticing is that X is always 2 less than Y. So, or we could say Y minus 2 equals X. That would be a good rule. So if we take two and a half and subtract two, we get one and a half. If we take four and subtract two, we get one, two. Six minus two is four. Construct line E that is parallel to lines P and contains point E. So now we're gonna do the same thing with line, with point E. Okay, and name three points on line E. So I'll start with this one, that is three, two. And E is four, three. And this one is five and a half, four and a half. So here I'm noticing that if we do take x and subtract 1, we get y. So we could say x minus 1 equals y. 3 minus 1 is 2, 4 minus 1 is 3, 5 and a half minus 1 is 4 and a half. Compare and contrast lines D and E in terms of their relationship to line P. So line E is closer to line P. Let's see how close. It's one, two, it's two units away from line P. And line D is See, one, two, three, four units away. But we can say they are both increasing at the same rate because they're parallel, they're never going to intersect. Number two, write a rule for a fourth line that would be parallel to those above and that would contain the point five and a half, two. Explain how you know. So let's first find the difference between five and a half and two. So five and a half minus two would be equal to two and a half. So a rule here would be x minus two and a half equals y. So I know because since it's parallel, it would follow the same pattern. Uh, 
And let's see where that would be. So five and a half, two. Oh, that's one. Five and a half, two is right there. Except it's having smaller y values. So see how the y is two? So it's gonna, this line's gonna be something like that through there. So it's going to have larger x values and smaller y values. Or so let's just say, but it will have smaller y values. Number three, use the coordinate plane below to complete the following tasks. Line P represents the rule x and y are equal. So that's saying if x is one, y is 1, if x is 4, y is 4. Construct a line V that contains the origin and point V. So we want line V that so contains the origin, which is this right here, 0, 0, and point V. So let's, con let's connect the origin and point V. Name three points on line V. So let's not use zero, zero. Let's, how about that? That is one, two, oops. And this one would be three, six. And let's, let's use V. V is four, eight. Identify a rule to describe V. So let's look at the relationship between the X and Y values. So one plus one is two, but plus one doesn't work for three and six, because three plus one would be four, but the Y coordinate is six, not four. So we're probably multiplying. Let's try the relationship between one and two. It looks like we're multiplying by two. So I would say X times I'm just going to write it out because an x looks like a multiplication sign. x times 2 equals y. So we take the x, multiply by a 2, we get y. 3 times 2 is 6. 4 times 2 is 8. Construct line w that contains the origin and point w. So again, we're using the origin. But this time we're connecting it to w over here. Okay, you should look just like that. Name three points on line W. I'm gonna do, let's start with this one. So we have two, four, and let's pick that one. That is eight, four. Oh, sorry. This is four, two, not two, four. Four two eight four, and let's use W. That's ten five. Identify a rule to describe line W. So this time it looks like the X is being cut in half to get Y. So X divided by two is equal to the Y value. H. Compare and contrast lines V and W in terms of their relationship to line P. So line V looks like it's increasing at a much steeper rate. So it's increasing the um, X values or the Y values, these Y values are increasing at a much quicker rate than line V. W. So let's say line V is increasing. And I'll just put the Y values at a much quicker rate.
P and line W's, their Y values are in increasing at a slower rate. than P. I. What patterns do you see in lines that are generated by multiplication rules? So when there are multiplication rules, the numbers can get bigger much quickly, much more quickly because you're multiplying or so you're always at least doubling it or making it three times as big as four times as big. So those values are going to increase at a much quicker rate. So you end up seeing lines that are much steeper than you would if you were just adding. So let's say th the lines in multiplication rules can increase or decrease at a much faster rate than addition rules.